Hi guys and welcome back to the book list. This is video number two which is so exciting and yeah today I'm just going to be chatting to you guys about how the week's gone, about books that I've read, finished and starting and a bit of information about the blogs that are currently on the website. Um, if you haven't heard about us before, we are The Book List and basically it's just a channel all about books, recommendations, reviews and then like today's video, just a bit of chit chat about yeah, what's going on in the book world and more specifically my book world. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with the video. First we're gonna start today with mangas that I'm currently reading. Um, I've really tried with pronunciations today, so if I'm getting any wrong, please write in the description. But the first one is Kimi ni Tadoke by Karuho Oshina. Uh, this is a completed manga and I'm on volume 11. And this is just hilarious. It's a shoujo, school life, slice of life, romance manga with quite a bit of comedy. It has made me really laugh, like the artwork and mainly the female leads facial expressions, they have me howling. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, so it follows our female lead, Sawako Kuranoma. <laughs> I'll put it up here if I'm, if I'm not making any sense. Um, but yeah, it follows her who basically she doesn't have any friends. She doesn't really have much confidence and people in her school think she looks like the girl from the ring and think she's cursed. But it's about her journey through school, getting more confidence having friends and getting close to our male lead who is called Shota Kazahaya. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a really good read. It's heartwarming, it's easygoing and yeah, just cuteness overload. So next we're gonna talk about the ongoing manga that I'm reading and where I have to wait for the English versions to be uploaded online. And this week, two of my mangas have been uploaded. So one of the mangas this week was chapter 38 of Sernai Kanajo no Hitorijime. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful that one, um, by Amenzato Sugar. And so this is an Ichi manga, so it has some nudity in it, sexual innuendos, um, some sexual content, and but it's done in a really tactful way. And it follows our female lead, Yuri, and our male lead, Nachi. And Yuri is really shy at school and no one really speaks to her, but she's actually quite into sex and quite confident in that, confident in that regard. And she reads like some smutty na novels and sexual novels, basically. And Nachi is really popular at school, but he ends up liking Yuri and wants to get to know her. And it's just about their relationship from being being secret and quite sexual straight off the bat. But it's good. It's different from other typical school life mangas and slice of life mangas I usually read. But I just love it. It's so addictive. And I just really like the main characters and their storyline. I haven't been bored and it just the story gets into gets into it straight away. So yeah, definitely one I'd recommend. And yeah. Now, the next manga that I've read this week is chapter 86 of The Fragrant Flower Blooms with Dignity by Saka Makami. And this is one of my favourite mangas I've read this year. It's so heartwarming. It follows our male lead, Rintaro, and our female lead, Kariko. And it's just so heartwarming. Basically, they go to schools that are next to each other, but they're kind of rival schools. One is an all-boys school. Is it all boys? Yeah, I think it's an all boys school. And they, yeah, I think it's an all boys school who are basically a bit of delinquents. They're not that smart. It's deemed that way. And the girls school next door is like a private school for the rich and the really smart. Uh, and yeah, they meet at Rintaro's parents' bakery where the female lead gets cakes there. And it's, it's just so heartwarming. It's about friendship relationship romance um and yeah it's a slice of life school life romance drama and it's just perfect and i love the side characters like all of the friends and even the family we learn so much it's just it's such a good manga i would definitely 100 percent recommend you reading it so now what i'm currently reading in a traditional book let's say is the priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon 
this has been such a long read. I actually started this book in May and I'm only halfway through. It's a book where I read some and then I leave it. It hasn't gripped me as much as I thought it would. Um, <laughs> but I am I'm determined to finish it. And I really want to read some of my part finished books by the end of the month. So that is my goal to finish this soon. <laughs> So I'm currently reading that. Last night, I just finished reading Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. And it's the last book in the Tog series. It is amazing. If you haven't read it, read the whole series, please do. Kingdom of Ash, I cried so much in that book. There is so many moments in it where your heart will just break. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's over actually. I feel a bit numb. I'm going through book breakup, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna be starting Crescent City, which is another book in the Sarah J Mass universe, like of Tog and Akatar. So hopefully that will fill the void a little bit for me. Now, a book that I've just started listening to on Audible is Free Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. I'm about two hours in and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I like the voiceover. That's always a thing with Audible. I, I sometimes I can't read it. I can't listen to it because the voice just grates me. <laughs> but this voice, I can actually understand the different characters. And yeah, it's quite soothing, even though it's not a soothing story. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting at the moment. It's taking a different path, which I thought it was. It's basically about triplets who, um, one of them's gonna be queen one day and they all have different types of powers and it's coming to their 16th birthday where they're basically, one of them's only gonna survive because the other, that one of them has to kill two of their siblings off. Um, but yeah, I only thought it would follow one of the sisters but it does actually follow all three. So you get semi attached to everyone. So I don't know how it's gonna go. I've still got about eight hours left. So I'm excited to finish that one. Now it's for the blog updates. So last Saturday, we uploaded a blog about 12 great shoujo romance manga series to read in 2023. So if you're looking for a romance manga series to read, we've got you covered. It's got some of the funniest, cutest, great character development stories I've read this year. Some of them made me cry. <laughs> And I can't, I rarely cry at mangas. And yeah, some of them at the end, it's just such a journey. Um, but some are ongoing, some are completed. So yeah, if you're looking for your next manga read, I'll give that, give that a go. I've linked it in the description box below. Now I'm currently working on our next blog, which is The Final Empire, uh, book one of the Miss Bond series by Brandon Sanderson. And yeah, it's just a book review. And it's my first book in the Brandon Sam Sanderson Cosmere. So yeah, it was a bit daunting to read that book, but it was so good. A little sneak peek, I loved it. <laughs> and it had a really good comedy in it. But yeah, expect, expect the next blog out this week. So yeah, that should be exciting. And yeah, that's all of the reading updates that I've got now. So I think I'm gonna try and do this probably once a week, just to give you an update of everything that's going on with me. Uh, but yeah, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. And if there's any manga series or books that you think I would like or you want me to review, leave them in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, so I'm off. See you in the next one.